Frank asks, if we don't use Vault, do our emails from clients get deleted after a couple of years if we don't delete them in our Gmail and do our Google Drive folders that we have set up for clients also get deleted after a certain period of time? The short answer to that is no. Your emails will not be deleted after a certain period of time and your files will not be deleted after a certain period of time in your workspace account. Once your emails are inside Gmail, they basically go to a big archive folder called all mail. That archive folder is where all of your emails sit and live until the end of time. <laughs> and so if I open up my inbox here and I go to, let me see if I can find my all mail folder. I think that gets hidden because my inbox is hidden. Okay, let's go ahead and find here, here it is, all mail. Basically every single email that I've sent or received ever lives in this all mail folder. Now, do you want something that's really gonna fry your noodle? The all mail folder is effectively an archive of every single email in your account, but it also includes every single email in your inbox. And anytime you add a label to an email, it doesn't actually put it in multiple places. It lives in the all mail folder, but then it also has a label attached if you're using labels on the left-hand side of your screen here. And so many people think labels are actually like folders because in the Microsoft world, they were in individual folders, but they actually act more like tags instead. And so for example, I've got, this looks like a spam email, but I'm just gonna use that because it won't expose any information. 10,000 payment to businesses, all right, great. So I can click the move to inbox button and it's gonna actually move it to the inbox, but look at that. It didn't move it out of my all mail folder it's still in the all mail folder. It just now has the inbox tag. There we go. So the all mail folder is basically the big bucket of all of your email. Imagine like you're sweeping up your lounge room and you lift up a rug and you sweep, you sweep the dirt under the rug, but you've got an unlimited rug to sweep dirt under. Of course, you're constrained by the actual limit of the storage space of your Google Workspace account. But let me tell you, I've got over 10 years of email inside my Gmail mailbox. I have never deleted a single email. Never deleted a single email in over a decade of running this business. And you can see in total, I'm actually using, it's right down the bottom, right down the bottom corner here. I'm actually using, let's see if I can show it up for you, 345 gigabytes. Now that's not just mail. I think my mail is in total, mail in total is about 70 odd gigabytes, but it's literally hundreds of thousands of emails that I've stored in there over a period of over 10 years. Google, because they compress your emails in the background and because they are very efficient with the way that they have structured their web apps, they still perform really well even if you have literally hundreds of thousands of emails and decades of emails in there. And I'll show you an example of what that actually looks like. If I go to my email search here and let's say for example, I search for emails from all the way back in 2011, boom, it's gonna immediately bring up emails from literally over a decade ago, isn't that crazy? Over a decade ago, it's literally bringing up emails. Let's see if we can go even older. Let's go 2010. I think there's probably the first few emails that started showing in there. Oh, here we go, 2018. Oh, I think that one's updated there. But I have an email here from all the way back in 2010 saying the best positions in bed. I don't know what might be in here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Look at that. All right, so there you go. So that's what happens with those, but inside your Google Drive, that's slightly different. Let's go ahead and open up our Google Drive and let's have a look inside our drive. So inside your My Drive, you've got all of your files that you own. Inside your shared drives, you've got all of the files that other people own or the company has ownership, of, but you also have here a bin inside your Google Drive. Now, things will only end up in the bin if you delete them. Individual shared drives have their own bin, but the actual bin here is files that you've deleted from my drive. It'll show you the original location that they've been deleted from, which is pretty handy. Things are only gonna end up in the bin if you click the delete button and they stay there for 30 days and then they go. Same as your bin inside your Gmail. Let me go ahead and open up my bin inside my Gmail. They'll stay there for 30 days and then they'll be automatically deleted. You can see I haven't deleted anything and so nothing sits there. So hopefully that has been helpful. Frank, thanks very much for asking the question. If you do choose to use Google Vault, what that will save you from is if a staff member deletes a file or they delete an email, if it after 30 days disappears from their bin, it will still be in Vault. Because once you set a retention policy inside Google Vault, it will retain all emails and all files, both in and out of the business, even if someone has deleted it from the individual mailbox. And so here's the thing, 
it's very unlikely that you're gonna have staff who are maliciously wanting to harm the company and are deleting files and folders on purpose. It does happen, but it's pretty rare. But what does happen a lot more often is you have staff who, thinking they're doing the right thing, do a bit of a spring cleaning in their Google Drive or do a bit of a spring cleaning in their Gmail and they will inadvertently delete important emails, but nobody notices until weeks or months later. And so you can run into all kinds of trouble there where you have someone who's deleted a file, it's then disappeared from their bin and you have an OF moment. And that OF moment is when you realize months later that that file is gone and there's no way of getting it back. So that's why we do recommend using something like Google Vault, but we also recommend a third-party backup service. And that third-party backup service like Spanning or Backupify will allow you to have an extra layer of protection just in case one of those things happen. If you are a concierge member, you sign up for a concierge service, we actually give you a couple of backup licenses for free so you can protect the most important information on your account as a business owner. Uh, and if you're interested in that, click on the link down below and you can check out concierge on our website. Uh, but great question. Thank you very much for that. Frank. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack, or your workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.